All right, guys, in the last video, we went ahead and talked about what Adonis is. We looked at the folder structure, set up, set it up with the CLI, uh, created a home page route and view. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a controller for our posts. OK, Adonis is an MVC framework, so we want to create that model view controller structure. So let's go ahead and generate a controller with Adonis make colon controller and we're going to say posts. Okay, now generally you want your put your controllers to be plural and your models to be singular. Now it's going to ask for if we want this to be an HTTP type controller or a web socket. We're going to use HTTP. And now if we look in our let's see app folder controllers HTTP, we have a post controller JS file. All right, so this is where we're going to create all of our controller methods. So let's create our first one, which is going to be index. Now, before all of our methods names, we're going to say async. And the reason for that is because Adonis JS 4.4.0 utilizes ES7's async await feature, which is a cleaner way to handle asynchronous operations than callbacks or promises. And I'm not going to get deep into that. That's a whole nother tutorial and it can get kind of complicated. So we just add async before the function name and then we add a wait before things like fetching data from the database. So let's call this index. And let's just go ahead and return a string called posts. All right, that's all we'll do for now. Let's save. And now what we want to do is create a route to map to this this method here. So we'll go to our routes file. And actually, let's go above all this test stuff and let's say route dot get. And by the way, notice that I'm not using oh, I'm trying. I did there, but I'm trying not to use semicolons because the the convention for the core Adonis code is not to use semicolons. And I'm trying to stick to that. OK, which is very hard because I always use semicolons. Um, now it's up to you what you want to do. I just want to keep it all consistent. So I'm going to try not to use them. So in the get here, we want to we want a route to go to posts. And then we want to map that to posts. I'm sorry, post controller dot index. So we'll save that and then we'll go to slash posts and we get our string posts. OK, so it's now calling this method here. Now, obviously, we're not going to want to just output a string here. We're going to want to load a view. So let's create a view for the post index. So we'll go down here and we'll say Adonis make view. Now, when you use a resource like posts and you know you're going to have a bunch of views for that resource, you probably want to create a separate a folder for that resource. So we're going to say post slash index. And what that does is it creates inside the views folder a folder called posts and then the index file. So in the index file, let's just say. Actually, we'll just put an H1 here and we'll say posts. OK, and then we'll go to our controller and we want to render a view. Now, when we if we want to render a view, we actually need to pass in here some curly braces and pass in view. And then we want to say return view dot render. And then whatever the view is, we want to render, which in this case is going to be post dot index. If it's inside of a folder, you want to use this dot syntax like that. OK, and we'll save reload. And now we get our rendered view. All right. Now, just like with most MVC type frameworks, you can pass data into a view so we can put an extra parameter, which will be an object. And let's say we want to put a title. And we'll say latest posts and then we can go into our index view. And right here, I'm just going to put in our double curly braces and say title and save reload and we get latest posts. All right. So it works just like most other frameworks. I, I, like I said, I, this really reminds me of Laravel. If you've ever worked with Laravel before, I know it's a different language, but the syntax, the um, just the way that things are set up, it's very similar. Now, what if we want to pass in an array and loop through it, which ultimately is what we're going to do. It's going to come from the database, uh, but we don't have the database set up yet. So let's just put some hard coded data in here. So we'll say const 
posts. We'll set it to an array and it'll have a title and body. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just copy this, put in a couple more. So this will be post two, three, and then we'll just go down here and we'll say posts and pass in posts. So let's save that. Now we'll go into our index view. And now to loop through this using edge is very, very easy. We just need to say at each. And then we're going to say post in posts. Okay, then we need to end it by saying end each. All right, and then in here, you know what, let's wrap this in a UL so that each one is inside of a list item. So we'll go like that. We'll put our list item here and we'll just do post dot title and save. Let's reload. And now you can see that it's going to show those posts on the screen. It's going to loop through and put each one inside of a list item. All right. So ultimately, this stuff, this stuff is going to come from our MySQL database. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to talk a little bit about templating and layouts. Now, in our template here, we don't have a, a head and body tag. We don't have a title or anything like that. Um, same thing with the home page. Now, we could put it inside the view here, but then we'd have to add it to every single view, and we don't want to do that. So we're going to create a main layout for all of our views to get put inside of. Okay, so let's generate a new view. I'm going to go down here and say Adonis make view and we're going to call this main. Okay, and then we'll go into main.edge and put in our HTML tags. I'm going to use Emmet so I can do exclamation tab and that'll give us just a basic structure here for the title. I'm just going to say Adonis 4.0 blog. And what I want to do is include Bootstrap. Okay, we're going to use Bootstrap 4. Now, as you saw in the welcome page, we can use this syntax here to include style sheets. Now, this is a local style sheet, but we can also use it for remote files. So what I'm going to do is go to getbootstrap.com, get started, and I'm going to grab just the href part of the CDN. So just the, the file. And then we'll go back to main, put in our curly braces here, and say CSS, and then just pass in that link. All right, now we can do the same thing with JavaScript. So for these three links here, let's grab the source. Okay, we need jQuery. It's a dependency for Bootstrap. Uh, and then we're just going to do, instead of CSS, we're going to say script. And then we'll pass that in. All right, we want to do the same thing for Popper.js, which is another dependency. So we want this link here. Paste that in. And we also want, of course, Bootstrap CSS. I mean, I'm sorry, Bootstrap JS. And we'll put that in there. All right. Now, wherever we want to output the main or not the main, but the views, whatever the whatever the, the page view is, we're going to go ahead and say at uh, exclamation section and then pass in the string content. All right. And I actually want to wrap it in a container so that everything's pushed into the middle. It's just part of bootstrap. You guys know that. I'm sure. All right. So that's our layout. So let's save that and go back to our posts reload. Now, one thing I forgot to do is extend this layout. OK, it doesn't it's not going to use it by default. So let's go to our index page and up here we're going to say at layout and say we want to use the main layout. And you can have multiple layouts. Now we also have to wrap this in section content like that. And then at the end 
say end section. All right, we'll just tab this over, save, and now if we reload, now you can see the bootstrap is kicked in and it has the head, it has the title up here. So it's using the layout. Now we want to do the same thing in the home page. So I'm going to copy these two lines, go to our home, paste that in. And let's not forget to end the section. All right, so now if we go to our home page, you can see that's also using the layout. All right, so before we move on to the database and all that, I want to have a nav bar so we can navigate between these pages. So in edge, we can use partials or, or includes. So what I'm going to do is in the views folder. Actually, I can generate it down here with Adonis. Make view and let's say ink, okay, because I want to create an ink folder and then slash nav bar. So now we have this ink navbar dot edge file and then we're going to put our nav bar in here. Now I'm going to paste this in because it's just HTML. It's just bootstrap. Um, nothing special. I'll go over it real quick. So we have a nav tag, a couple bootstrap classes. We're using BG primary, which will give it a blue background. Uh, MB3 is margin bottom three. It's just going to push stuff down. Uh, we have a container to push everything into the middle. We have the branding. We have the but the hamburger button for responsive um, for mobile sites or mobile layouts. And then we just have the home link, which goes to slash and posts, which goes to slash post. So let's save that. Now, it's not going to show up yet because we have to include it in our layout. So let's go back to main dot edge and let's go right above the container and say at include ink slash nav bar and reload. And now we have our nav bar. So you have the little drop down, go to posts. So now we can navigate between posts and home. One thing I want to do is remove the active class in the nav bar that's on the home. So I'm just going to get rid of that. All right, there we go. So now we have our nav bar and we have our two pages or two routes. All right, so I think this is a good place to stop. In the next video, we're going to uh, we're going to first of all install the MySQL module, and then we're going to edit our .env file. Uh, we're going to create a database, and then we're going to create our migrations, and then the model. All right, so we're going to get into that next.